Good morning YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Gum and Raw. So today we've got a few doors. They're actually reworks. Um, I'm not sure if I have uploaded these videos yet. I'm a little bit behind with my uploading schedule, honestly, because, uh, yeah, just in the new year, just, uh, you know, uh, you, you come to work and when you get home, you can't necessarily be bothered spending time on the computer. I've actually got so much footage, like I'm a little bit behind on the uploading and stuff on YouTube, but um, all of that aside, we're here to smash a few coats of clear. Hey, that, that rhymes, man. We're here to smash a few coats of clear. I'm gonna turn this into a wrap. I'm gonna have to write this down, man. <laughs> um, yeah, smash a couple of coats of clear on these doors. It's a flow coat, so it's actually a rework, but you know, I say it's not a rework because I'm just, I haven't finished. Something happened. Yeah, so um, yeah, I, I got a contaminated batch of clear last week. I don't know what happened. You know what I actually kind of think it might have been? I, was th I always like think about work when I'm lying down in bed. I reckon when I stirred the, the pot of clear, there may have been like a little bit of base coat left on the stick or something down the bottom because if you're not careful you just wipe the stick like that, right? And you may have a little bit of black um, base coat on the bottom when you're stirring it and there was these tiny little um, lumps of like black stuff inside the clear, they were floating and that would kind of make sense because you know, the, the waterborne paint won't mix with the, um, the solvent based clear so that's actually what I think it was. So, either way, it's one of those freak accidents. It doesn't happen very often, but it can. Either way, I tried, and the body was okay. The body is actually all right, but it's just the doors. So, um, I, what I tried to do when I was painting it, I put two coats of clear on, and then I could see it, and then I gave it a short bake for like seven minutes and smashed another coat on. So that looked like it had worked until I baked it again and I gave it a final bake and they sort of poked their heads back up. But yeah, the clear coat that I'm using is the LVC 105 clear. It's probably my favorite PPG clear, but it definitely has its downside. It's a real trick to polish. Spray gun is the DV1, old school edition with 1.2 mil in it. So if you have 1.2 with the C1 air cap on it. So yeah, we should give that a few minutes in between coats. Gotta love the size of that boost though, how good is it? Yeah, I just don't want to, um, I don't want to rush the job, so I guess I've got to find something to talk about. We're actually not that busy at the moment. Um, I think the lesson that management may have learned this year is like, don't slow down for Christmas. Just keep keep those cars coming in, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, because ever since the new year, we've just been really quiet and we are very efficient at this shop. Like, the respray that this goes with, we did it in two days, man. So full bare metal respray, right? No bumpers, to be fair, but bare metal, taking all the metal off the roof, and down, like, yeah, every metal part, exterior only, so we're not doing the door jam. Although we did do one door jam, but not paint stripper, just because there was a dent inside it. Two days. I was impressed. I was really impressed. And we've got a really good team here. So we've got um, Shi Jun. You've probably seen him in some other videos. Um, that's the guy out there prepping. Um, he's on that chair. He'll just paint that himself today. Um, unfortunately for us, he's leaving, right? So he's starting his own shop. So that's kind of cool. Like I'm really, really um, rooting for him, I guess. Like I'm, I'm really happy for him too. But 
it's going to leave a hole in their shop. Um, but the other thing I was going to say is like even there's two guys that they do assembly in Malaysian food. Their work is awesome, man. Like as they just shut up, they do their work, no dramas, no nothing. And if there's ever nothing to do on their side, they'll just come down. So this job here, they just um, stripped the job out. So they did all the uh, they do all the remove and refit, right? Um, and then if they haven't got anything to go on with, they just come down, they'll pass the doors for us. No complaining, man. Come down, help us out, they'll sand them down. Um, it's just a real teamwork environment. Then we've got the detail of Baxter. Um, he'll sort of, he doesn't really help out on our side as much, but he'll do a bit of um, organising and, you know, um, yeah, moving cars and stuff like that, just organising the next job and all that kind of stuff. So it's a real team effort. And, and um, he comes in, like, let's just say oh, I painted these doors, right? And I got like an imperfection or a run down there, he'll always let you know. And I want to know. So the way that we do it here is we'll, we'll paint the panels, we'll then take them into the detail about it, we'll get them polished before they go on. And the beauty of that is that an extra set of eyes are getting run over the entire panel, right? So he's checking over all the edges. It might even be something inside here, you know? And, and, well, let's just say, because these are um, uh, full, you know, bare metal and they're being paint stripped. Let's just say a little bit of paint strip that got hit inside here and fell inside there. I want to know that before the part goes back on the car, before the car goes back to the owner, before the owner complains to us, and then the car's going to come back for a little bit, for what would have been a half hour fix, went back to quiet in the detailing bay. So, I want to know these kinds of things. It's not about, oh, you've got something wrong. It's about, no, we've got to fix it. It doesn't It doesn't matter here. It's not like that, uh, you've got shit wrong, if you know what I mean. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a finger pointing contest, ever. It, it never is here. It's just about, let's just get, all get together and get the job done right. And like, even those assembler guys, you know, if they notice a little shit, they'll always tell us, you know, they'll communicate. So you may have noticed on my second coat of clear, I put that pressure down a bit. So it was at about 40 psi on the first coat. I turned it down to about 30 on the second coat. I don't want to go too, like you're not going too gory, not going to dead flat. I don't want to go too heavy with the clear, just a normal sort of factory, factory finish type thing. Now we're going to have enough, 
I make about 600 mils, and these are pretty big doors. I've been playing my Nintendo 64 all weekend. I mean the emulator, but... Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna run out. Right up the top here, I'm nearly done. Oh, I just ran out. Is that enough? I reckon it might just be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Just. Huh. I'm calling it. That's all good. Gunny the wizard, mate. Even when you run out, you run out with just enough. That's killer. What a nice way to start the week off. And now I've got a Mazda. Got a um, uh, Mazda 3, I think it is, that paints down the side, machine grey, that'll be fun. There you go, that's starting to flow a little bit, the finish is, it's wetting up. Because yeah, this uh, 105 speed definitely does flow. That's nice, that's nice and clean guys. I would not be complaining if I was the owner, get a free flow coat on my doors. Woohoo! Clean, 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 man. What a way to start the week. And there you go. This is a bit where I thought I was going to run out, but I didn't. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to get yourself one of these, I'll put a link in the description where you can buy yourself an old school edition DV1. Base coat or clear coat. So yeah, spray gun correct. They have them in stock at the moment. Killer looking guns. Um, yeah, get yourself one before they sell out because they will sell out. They're awesome. Right here, guys. See you in the next one.